if my mind can conceive it and my heart can believe it then i can achieve it and our guest today is a testimony of this quote welcome to baate an kahi with sudha chandra thank you so much that's that was such a beautifully worded phrase i think uh, comparing myself to mohammad ali i think <laughs> that's my day is done today <laughs> you made my day yes. ma'am you've inspired a generation well, to to say say the least right you have really inspired a lot of people and i was looking at one of your interviews where your childhood friend uma ji said uh, which was very surprising to me she said the child bachpan mein darpok thi and look at you today fattu thi darpok bhi nahi fattu thi main matlab i still remember if i had to cross a road and i used to see three four boys sitting there I used to call my friends. I said, "Ek kam kar na, tum log apne ghar se mere ghar aao, fir mere ko leke apne ghar jao." And my friends used to say, "Chal yar, kabi tu kab grow karegi? Zindagi mein kabi whenever you, you know, how are you going to face life?" Hmm. My mother used to tell me this. Yeah. And she was a very bold woman. She used to tell me that, "Suda, kya? What? What will they tell you yeah. when you just cross? Have the guts to move ahead in life." Probably I was so, you know, in an I, I, being the only child, probably. my parents made sure that you know i come from a very simple middle class uh, brahmin family so uh, all the time it was like education dance education dance to bahar ki duniya maine dekhi nahi hai so my life used to start at 5:30 in the morning 7 o'clock i used to go to school come back i remember the days when my mother used to wait out of the outside the school i used to change my dress had just have a glass of milk and she used to take me to the dance school by the time i used to wind up there it used to be 9:9:30 and i used to fall asleep and uh-huh. my mother used to actually because we had no auto rickshaws at that time we couldn't afford a car at that time yeah. so my mother used to actually take me on her shoulders and she used to cross from parla west to parla east so these are the sacrifices so actually i was a very timid ghar ke andar bahut khush hu main aaj bhi aap mujhe bolo bahar jao i will say no please spare i am very happy in my house <laughs> But yes, the boldness, the courage has definitely come in. But Sudha ji, when we see you today, the words that come to our mind is fear, strong, inspiring. There was no list me nahi aata. What made this change? Uh, was it the accident that changed you? Partly, yes. Partly, it was the accident hmm. which made me very defensive. Because after the accident, I remember if I had to go into that wave of sympathy where people came and said, "Oh, this should not have happened to you," and I always say in India, free advice. Hmm. मतलब लोग आपके घर पे knock करके आपको advice देंगे. फिर यू हैव टू बैंक द डोर एंड से कि बॉस अब बहुत हो गया अब मुझे मुझे अपने हाल पे छोड़ दो सो दैट वाज अ टाइम व्हेन पीपल एक्चुअली केम एंड सेड ओह दिस शुड नॉट हैव हैपेंड सो आई सेड इफ आई गेट स्वेड इन दिस वेव ऑफ सिंपति आई विल नॉट बी एबल टू ओवरकम दिस इन माय लाइफ सो दैट इज वेयर आई हैड टू प्ले डिफेंसिव सो दिस डिफेंसिव एटीट्यूड केम इन मी थैंक्स टू माय फादर बिकॉज आई ऑलवेज कंसीडर्ड हिम एज माय रॉक ऑफ गिब्राल्टर सो ही वाज वन पर्सन हु सेड स्टैंड अप stand up for yourself because after the accident when the amputation happened my dad came into the operation theater and he said that i shall be that leg that you're going to lose but you will walk not only walk you will dance so at that time i asked my dad i said how long are you going to live with me first tell me that hmm. he says that i don't assure but i will make sure that i will make you successful before i leave this world and he stood by his promise i can agree yes that. so at that time i had no choice because if i had to get into that sympathetic mode where people were talking to me and i also get into that ha ye kyu hua i would not have been able to conquer this uh, yeah. defeat in my life and secondly at night i used to see my parents talking they used to presume i have gone to sleep hmm. so they used to sit throughout the day my father and mother used to be very strong huh. but at night was the time when they actually used to break down and they made sure that those tears would never you know uh, be portrayed in front of me yeah but presuming that i was asleep and i was not asleep and i used to listen to what they used to talk so they used to keep saying that what is going to happen to her we really don't know where life is taking us yeah. and why did this happen to me hmm. it was at that time and my implicit faith in my god see here i have to mention this to you my implicit faith in my god is what bought me here because at that time i only prayed yeah i didn't trust the human beings i only trusted the god above me and i said give me that one opportunity where people will say that they are sudha chandran's parents i yeah. said i don't know how to do it now you give me the way and they say you know when you ask the universe it answers you and dr pk sethi got the raman maxesi award for the Jai- and the jaipur foot i went met him said i want to dance he said yes you can dance and rest is history absolutely 
you know you mentioned your parents and i can i know it must be a tough time for you and I, you have spoken about it in the past but i really what why i want to dwell into is how did your parents deal with that thing because it is the most hardest thing for a parent to see your child go through what they did yes it's unparalleled yes i remember my mother used to go to the market post 9 pm she would not go to the market she used to buy the vegetables post 8:39 because she didn't want to meet people really yes i have seen her go gone you know go through that so, and i used to keep asking her i said mama why are you going so late she says i don't want people to ask me silly questions you know we are talking about a society which is evolving but 35 years back hmm. people actually walked up to me and said kitna gaya ghutne ke niche hai ghutne ke upar hai agar ghutne ke niche hai to kitne inches ghutne ke niche hai imagine a family going through an agony and people walking up to you and asking you this silly stupid questions hmm. you know it is and how does one answer this and at that time this? i had not even thought of coming into the film industry and mm. there were people who walked up and said oh your dad wanted you, uh, to make you a hema malini and a vijinti mala because you're a dancer so the next stage is films my father had never even thought of it because he wanted me to do the is or the indian foreign service so sure. so i said how where and how do you presume that i was to come into the film industry and thanks whatever they said came true today i have mm. come into a commercial field where i think probably i am the only specially challenged person who has you know put a step forward into the entertainment media yeah and doing really well for myself so at least i'm happy that i have paved the path hmm. for other people to even dream about this film industry or the television industry sure kd chandan saab your father once said uh, besides she being an actress or a dancer i consider her as a ray of hope for millions of handicap around the world i'm proud of him. yes he was very proud of me until the last breath of his life he said that and if given another rebirth i would love to be reborn as uh, mr kd chandran and tangam chandran's daughter again with some changes no changes no changes no because i still feel that i've only given the interest of all that they have invested in me the principal amount still stays Mm. I have to pay that principal amount back to them and I don't think I'll be able to do it in one life no and the biggest award that came to me is when I danced on stage my father came home and he touched my feet really and I was taken aback I said dad what are you doing he says no it is that lord saraswati that is there in your legs that I'm actually bending down and seeking her blessings and I'm so proud that lord saraswati has come to my house so I think if a daughter has a family like this a father and mother like this and a husband like my my husband mr ravi dine yes uh, i think i've won the battle absolutely to all those who don't know i'd like to say ma'am's story is also correct me if i'm wrong but it's a part of a textbook yes um, it's in the curriculum yes it's in the curriculum then uh, there's a film that that was made on her life called mayuri uh, which she won a national award for also at that point in time here i have to interrupt you know we're talking about biopics today hmm. the first biopic was mayuri yes. which is never being mentioned in the electronic media which is very sad and that is the only film where the same actor has enacted his or her own character yes you now we're talking about biopics today but nobody has played their role yes and it's very sad because mr ramu ji rao the producer of mayuri is a pioneer in this of course yes of course and i think in 2014 if i remember correctly it was also uh, played again at ifi where it had premiered in, uh, in the first time is it yes in oh. 2014 in the dance section a uh, cinema of dance or something it is was it? called and oh. it was played again uh, oh. retrospectively my oh name. my god i think soon after the accident ma'am two two years i think you started dancing again two and a half years to be precise two and a half years mm-hmm. and uh, then came mayuri was that the confidence that you required at that point in time was mayuri the confidence that you required at that point in time to bounce back i never wanted to do mayuri really no i had for me film industry was a taboo because i used to read the film magazines and i always thought that oh my god is this the film industry you know coming from a very educated background i always and i was very fond of reading film magazines mm. i was a die hard fan of hema malini so for me i always thought that i was one hema malini myself i don't know why i thought and i used to enact all her songs at home and i i was in my own trip sure. but never wanted to do films mm. because i always thought what was presented about the film industry was in a very different light yeah so when this offer came to me 
initially they had planned to cast some top heroine from telugu and they just wanted to use my story and probably in the second half the accident part of it hmm. but when i went there and when i was narrating my story to singitam srinivas rao our director he looked at me and he said good 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 very good nice story narration and i came back fat comes another call that we want you to do mayuri i said me acting telugu yeah. agar hindi hoti to baat alag hai because born and brought up in mumbai yeah. so i said i am not interested in films and then as usual we have this typical tam bram association at home my grandmother sits my father sits my mother sits i sit how can our daughter go into the film industry i can imagine this yes yes it actually <laughs> happened it was actually a scenario my grandmother says she should coming from the first generation and my mother says she should not hmm. so that is the grandmother that's portrayed in the film a very modern liberated grandmother yes and she said she told my mother she says we are not pushing her into the film industry it's just one film it's going to create wonders it's going to help a lot of people hmm. so let's take it as a motivational film yeah but my mother said no 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 not films not films finally my grandmother put her foot down she says i am the head of the family and i have decided that she will do the movie so that's how i was sent to do the movie yeah and for me at that time going away from mumbai from my friends was like i mean i still remember when i took the flight the last like i was it was an air india flight uh-huh. at, at that time we had no other flights correct so the air india was indian airlines was taking off and i saw the mumbai airport i said oh god 25 days no mumbai and i had tears in my eyes and i went there first day first shot you can i mean if you still see the movie i was very morose very sad it was a very choppy scene hmm. so sangeetam srinivas rao said what is your problem i said i'm missing my friends i want to get back to mumbai huh. so he said no problem work for two days you don't like it you go back i won't stop you hmm. after the completion of the film again i started crying he says now what is your problem i said sir i don't want to go back <laughs> i want to be in the industry so i think uh, it also is very important with whom you start your career yeah and i have been very lucky that i started my career with singitam sir and i was like a wet clay in his hands and he molded me so beautifully and today when people say that you're such a fantastic actress yeah. so definitely the foundation has been put by my director and my producer thanks to him we got you <laughs> well that i don't know i thank him that it's because of him and mr ramuji rao sir that i'm in this film industry but why were you wary of acting your father was connected to the business no not then he was never connected to the film industry oh. he came to the films post retirement because mr mahesh bhat used to go to the american library to get a lot of books he used to read a lot huh okay. and dad was the deputy library director yeah so when he saw my dad he said hey you making very interesting character and i'm doing hame rahi pyar ke and i want you to do a play a tamil brahmin in that hmm. my father was very adamant he said you guys make a fool of uh, tamilians in films i will not do any buffoonery hmm. if you present me as a culture dignified tamilian i shall do this film yeah so he put his conditions to mr mahesh bhat hmm. and that's how he did hame rahi pyar ke yes. which was an instant hit and after that he did pukar he did uh, you know shararat then he did tere mere sapne hmm. the only film released by abc here Arshad Varshi and Priya Gill. Yes. In fact, his career was better than mine in films, <laughs> <laughs> and which he said till the last breath of his life. Sure. And was Amola second the turning point then? Yes. I was jobless. Six years I was jobless. After my films, after Mayuri, uh, Nachi Mayuri came in Hindi, mm. and then I did Pati Parmeshwar, and I did a couple of films which didn't do well. And then, as usual, people said she's one film wonder. I mean, uh, such people. That? Of course, I was termed the one film wonder, and they said that. अगर आप करोगी भी तो यू कैन डू अ भाभी कैरेक्टर और अ सिस्टर कैरेक्टर नथिंग बियॉन्ड दैट दैट इज ऑल्सो इफ योर फिल्म डू वेल देर वो फ्यू प्रोड्यूसर्स वो ऑल्सो टोल्ड मी दिस फिल्म इंडस्ट्री इज नॉट फॉर यू वाई डोट पॉइंट ब्लैंक पॉइंट ब्लैंक आई वॉज टोल्ड कि वाई आर यू स्टिल अराउंड इन द इंडस्ट्री तुम्हारा यहां कुछ नहीं होने वाला है आप कुछ और ट्राई कुछ और कोशिश कर लो सिक्स लॉन्ग ईयर्स आई वेटेड बट somewhere i believed in myself and i believed in the god above me i said you bought me i have parallel lines i can yeah. still because i was doing my post graduation i am an ma with economics Correct. international and industrial economics so i had lot of avenues in front of me and i could have easily jumped into one of them but my point was having come to this industry i said now you remove this tag of this one film wonder hmm. how you do it i don't know i have always had this very stupid battle with my god and each time i talk to him and then some surprise packet comes up that's when a call came comes in from balaji telefilms and they say that we are making a suspense thriller and uh, ekta ma'am wants to meet you i said fine i went there and uh, when i was she was narrating the story i like i kept looking at her she says what happened you're not interested 
I said, I don't know what character you're talking about. You're mm-hmm. talking about Shaina, right? So she laughed. She said, Shaina, that is the heroine. So I said, then what am I doing? She says, you're playing Ramula Sikhan. I said, that negative character and me. But it was at that time, I remembered Gopi Kishanji telling me this. When mm-hmm. he was choreographing me for Mayuri and Pati Parmeshwar. Okay. He said, Tumhari aankhe dayan jaisi hai. I said, sir, <laughs> Master Ji, kya bol rahe aap? So, Lal Pathar kabhi remake hua na, to Hema Mali ka character tu karegi. I don't know from where, out of the blue head said this. And after I did my negative role, I called up Gopi Ji and said, I said, thank you sir. Kahi na kahi, aap ne, wo jo germs mere andar the, jo negativity mene andar. I always believe that every person has that negative elements in him. Yeah. Maybe it's our culture which, you know, pushes, makes us push that down. Yeah. So, those things were in the middle of the day, probably in some rows, they came up and came up. And then, of course, then, uh, there was no looking back. Then it was only negative, negative, negative. Sometimes feel stereotyped as a negative character? Not really. Hmm. I mean, I'm doing negative here. Now, again, I'm doing Nagin where I'm playing a positive character. Yes. I'm doing a Z Telugu show for the last two and a half years where I'm playing an educationalist. Hmm. It's a title role. Yeah. She's basically a woman who wants all the girls in uh, India to be educated. Her priority is education. It's a very different role that I'm doing. So I have never stereotyped myself as just negative, negative, negative. No, never. Yeah, sure. You know, years ago, I had done an interview with Rohini Hatangari ji. Yeah. And she had said in the guise of a look there, she was talking about a show. And uh, we were talking in the context of how um, so actresses of a certain vintage don't get work. This was a few years back. Now, thankfully, OTT has changed a lot of things. But this was in 2016 or 2017, I remember. And she said, in the guise of a look test, they wanted me to do an audition for a TV show. Rohini Ji is a BAFTA award winning actress, the only BAFTA award winning actress in the country. Uh, have you faced a similar situation? Yes, I have. And I very openly say, I don't audition. Hmm. I don't audition. If I have to audition, then what is my 35 years of input in this industry? Yeah. And if you don't know my caliber, well, I don't want to work with you. But this it happens, people call in Still audition. today, yes, I still have scripts where people say, Hey, calm kije na, look test ke liye de dije. I said, look kya, mera face aapke paas hai, look aap karenge. And when I'm selected, most of the time I do my looks. Hmm. So I said, why? I said, and I've been talking to the center about this. I said, senior actors who are put in 30, 35 years should not be subject to this humiliation. I agree. And I was very straight when I said this. I said, a cameraman, a cinematographer, a DOP who has done brilliant films mm-hmm. and is out of work today doesn't have to go and light up and show that, well, this is my work. No. It's unfair. It's ruthless. It's inhuman. Yeah. I mean, why do you want us to go and audition? Yeah. Go back. We have got today when you just, it, it's just one touch and you can get the entire uh, work of ours. And imagine Rohini Hatangadi ji. Hmm. I've done a play with her and she's such a brilliant actress. Oh, lovely. And such a wonderful human being. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. I mean, it's silly. This is, I don't understand where the industry is going to. These are things which really hurt senior actors. Yeah. Uh, do you feel enough work is coming your way now? Yeah, I'm quite busy. Touch wood. Touch wood. But yes, the only regret I have is not doing films. Hmm. Good films. Why do you think I that's don't know. I really don't know. 2006, 7 was Malamal Weekly. Yes. No films after that. I have not done a single years. film after that. And one of the biggest hits, Mala Mal Weekly. Of course. Dashan, sir. Yes. It was a one woman army. There were 10 men and one woman. That was me. <laughs> yeah. So, I really don't know. Yeah. It's not that there is dearth of work for me. But, they say that kida jo hai, filmy kida ah. started from there. So even today when I see brilliant films, I said, oh, I wish I had done that role. Oh, I wish that was mine. So kahi na kahi wo, like when you watch Gangubai Kathiawadi, when I saw Seema Pawa's character, hmm. I said, ah, oh, I yeah. wish I had done that. The actor in me comes out, the jealousy in me comes out. <laughs> now lucky, I love Seema Pawa ji. Of course. And when I saw Ram Leela, yeah. Supriya Pathak, yeah. I said, ah, oh, how I wish I was pitched for that role. How I wish I could have done that role. So. Many a time, that's the only regret I have today. And I'm surprised that, you know, people say, why don't you do films? Hmm. I said, if there's an offer, I'll tell you. If there's an offer, I'll tell you. Correct. It will happen. It will happen. It will happen. You're putting it out in the universe. Yes, I always keep saying. And see, I don't live life in regrets. Why did it not happen? How did I'm thankful to God every day that I'm working. Yeah. And I'm still doing good work. Yeah. But that's a choice. See, it's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. 
इसमें कोई गलती नहीं है बिल्कुल इन अक्टूबर लास्ट ईयर एंड वी स्पोक अबाउट इट एट लेंथ एज वेल वेन यू टुक द सोशल मीडिया टू स्पीक अबाउट हाउ यू नो इट्स अनफेयर दैट एयरपोर्ट दिस टे लास्ट यू टू रिमूव दी आर्टिफिशियल लेन एंड इट्स हैज एनीथिंग चेंज आफ्टर दैट इंसिडेंट well on the top level it has definitely changed hmm. because i still remember i was flying bombay to hyderabad and you know every time this was happening and i you know i, I, I normally tend to ignore things hmm. ke chalo theek hai yaar bol diya theek hai kar liya main matlab i never remove my limb but yes i do counter question i said ye kya bol rahe hai aap kaise kar sakta hai aadmi but you know every day is not the same day you know the, your emotions are not the same hmm. and that day they were hell bent they said nahi aapko nikalna hi padega i said main nikalungi nahi this is my boarding card and you will not that that flight will not take off I said this I been telling you and that's when I realized the power of social media. Yeah. Yes. I just crossed the counter the security counter counter and I said this is the time so the open your mouth. Because I always allow I give people the leverage to go to a certain extent and but when I understand that the dignity of a person is at risk then I don't take it blindly. That's true. And the only thing I knew was that I had to send this message to the top person and that yeah. was our prime minister. Yeah. And I remember I just recorded it put it on and I flew the moment I landed in Hyderabad and I I didn't know what I suddenly become the top most celebrity like people were calling me ye hua kya hua kaise hua and then I saw the CISF guys the top brass CISF people they came to me they apologized this we are sorry but but this is not a rule yeah. so where I was trying to tell them that the top bracket knows about it the lower level should know about it hmm. which even today do Uh, you know the supreme court has passed a judgment but i travel almost once a week to, for my assignments they still have this ki artificial limb hai so i said etd so the moment i put my mask are aap ho see that is not what i had asked for true it's not for sudha chandran hmm. i'm talking about the community at large yeah you have a special counter for a business class why don't you have a special counter for the specially challenged the senior citizens we're talking about sympathy we're talking see i'm not talking on a sympathetic ground hmm. i only say spare that ordeal a I dignified agree. frisking is all that i ask i don't want my and after doing this also there were a lot of people who criticized me oh you are a celebrity you think you going to need special status i said my my national security is i'm also a part of this country correct i asked for a dignified frisking i never said no frisking correct i said understand this i said just to create a controversy and sensation don't come up with words to me hmm. so and uh the minister of civil aviation yeah he sent a message to me he said sudha ji we have taken this into consideration the entire cisf people were called they had this big meeting mm. where decisions have been taken implemented supreme court has passed it yeah. so it has happened in a in a span of just about 4 5 days so sure. things have really worked sure. just for my knowledge and for the readers knowledge i want to understand the supreme court judgment what uh... they said without the uh, permission of the specially challenged you cannot touch the artificial limb wow yes secondly artificial limb need not be removed at any of the airport security counters because they have been given an etd facility hmm. which tests it in spite of that in case you have any doubt you can take the specially challenged person to a special room there you can again that is in case of a doubt hmm if you feel there are a lot of people who do this yeah if you feel that something is wrong you can take them to a special room and you can get the artificial limb removed but seeking their permission yeah so this is a very important uh, decision that has come from the supreme court yeah so that you as a fan i want to know what's in the pipeline next i i know nagan six is happening yes i'm doing a z telugu project then i'm anchoring for a, a crime series for dangal wow. uh, then i am doing my dance shows and spending a lot of quality time with my husband <laughs> uh, because yes he is a person who has sacrificed the most for me because we started as friends it bloomed into a wonderful relationship and then we got married and he has been my pillar of strength yeah so sure. but ma'am thank you so much thank, thank you so much you. for you. being so inspiring thank you so thank much thank you so much for being you yes i love being myself i speak from my heart and probably that's the reason it reaches lots of people because today people are they know what is real and what is unreal i can't agree more so i always tell people whatever you want to say speak it from your heart your eyes conveys it and the person watching you understands it i agree so be true to yourself and things will fall in places i agree 
Thank you, Sudha. Thank, Thank you so much. This was a lovely It's a pleasure, pleasure talking to you. Thank you so Thank much. You so much and love you. you all. Hi, this is Sudha Chandran. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to Pink Villa. Lots of love.